All right, back again with my T410, and I had a quick question regarding video playback. Um, my particular model does not have discrete graphics. It just uses the Core i5-540 chip, uh, which has the built-in Intel uh, integrated graphics. And so I'm going to test out just some basic video playback. Um, people were specifically asking about HD playback. So I went out and I found um, the movie trailer for Avatar um, on Apple's website. I'm just going to play back the 720p version as well as the 1080p version uh, just so you can kind of see the frame rates and what goes on there so this one right here is the 720p this is running at its native resolution Pandora. It's perfectly smooth so there's no skipping or stuttering at all incredible danger and strange beauty from earth's southern hemisphere you can see the solar I'll system. I'll task manager there so you can see what's going on. Alpha Centauri. At a distance of 4.4 light years from Earth. It's using about 25% of the processor. And uh, this the is only a dual core chip. You see four graphs stars. there because it has hyper threading. Alpha Centauri A. Um, 25% basically means that it's using 100% load on one of the cores right now. So the 720p is kind of giving it a little bit of a workout. Uh, it's only a single threaded app though, so it's. Still got plenty of power left to do something else in the background. Alright, and go ahead and I'll load up a 1080p video and we'll start the video again. Alright, I've gone ahead and loaded the 1080p version of the same video we just watched. Um, it ran very well on 720p. Uh, one thing I will note is on 720p, I was, it was actually running on battery power in battery saving mode so the power or the CPU power is actually kind of throttled down uh, for this one I've actually kind of changed the conditions I went ahead and plugged in the AC adapter and uh, turned off all the power saving features just so we can see what this thing's capable of uh, you know full full bore here so let's go ahead and play this and see how the video looks um, since this is 1080p uh, please note that my screen is not 1080p it's only 1400 by 900 uh, but this is actually scaled down 50%. Pandora. So far it's looking pretty good. Let's see what it looks like uh, real size here. Normal size. It's kind of playing. I can definitely see some stuttering though. Um, let's check it out full screen and see if that does anything. It's looking pretty good. Uh, it's not really enough motion though to tell. Yeah, I can definitely see some stuttering in the planets there. Uh, this is so close to being watchable. It's it's almost painful. Like it's really it goes really smooth for a while, then it has to stutter for a bit. Um, for trailers and things like this, I could probably live with it. But if I was trying to watch a full 1080p movie on this, I would probably be a little annoyed. Uh, the audio is perfectly fine, that's not stuttering at all. Let's see what we got. We got the task manager up, we can see the CPU usage here on this. This is 1080p normal re resolution, it's using let's see a lot of the processing power there, 50%. Uh, that means that both cores are probably running full bore right now. Since it is hyper threading, uh, it's still got a few other uh, resources available to it. Let's see, got CPU Z up as well so we can kind of see the clock speed this thing's running at. And you can see right there it's running at 2.8 gigahertz. Um, I haven't quite figured out this turbo boost thing yet. Um, it's supposed to run at a max of 3.06 uh, but so far it seems to top out about 2.8. Uh, I have seen it hit 2.93 at one point but uh, we'll see. Um, and there you go, that's the best case scenario for this laptop, integrated graphics, 1080p video, um, you know, all the power saving features turned off and it's still a little choppy. Like I said, it's so close to being watchable. Um, I'm even temp like if, I don't know if the display is a problem, if I had a full HD capable display, if that would make a difference, but I have a suspicion that it wouldn't. Um, but bottom line, 720p video looks great on this thing. It looks very good. Uh, the screen is actually almost built for that resolution. It has to scale up a little bit, uh, but it really doesn't lose much fidelity when you do so. 
uh, but 1080p is just a little bit too much for the integrated graphics to handle it. Um, as you can see by the chart there, it's basically offloading all the uh, video processing onto the CPU. Uh, the GPU is not really doing its thing. Um, who knows, maybe with driver updates down the road it could get better, but for now, uh, 720p is a go, 1080p is questionable. Thanks.